Automation. Outside of my microphone, it might be my best friend. And thanks to Apple shortcuts, I have a lot of best friends. Okay, that was really weird. I need to pause. For those of you that have an iPhone, you might have seen that there is this app called Shortcuts on it. I know that my good friend Chance, who is the podcast co-host of the Rise Productive Podcast, saw this app on his phone and was like, this is stupid. This isn't something I'd use. And then I was like, hey, this isn't stupid. This is something you could totally use. And he went, oh, my bad, bro. And if you take a look at my homepage, you'll see that I have a bunch of different shortcuts marked on here. And just to quickly go through a few of them, I'm gonna show you a bunch of varying examples examples that'll give you a wide spectrum idea of the ways that you can utilize this on your phone. So first and foremost, I have been using Notion for a long time. As it can be seen, if I go to inbox here, good Lord, do you see that load time? Do you see this? God, stinks, right? I'm gonna have to take that time to then go into the second print and whatnot. But what I've done is I've created two different automations here, one that is task capture and one that is tweet idea. And both of those take different automations and let me bring them in to my Notion inbox or my Notion task. So if I press task capture right here, I can make an example task that will go into Notion. So it checked off and you see task capture works here. So when I go into the actions page right here, what will happen is once an automation runs with make.com that connects my to is to my notion we got automation on automation here or another one is if i go into tweet idea i can go and tweet something that would be a content idea so something that is coming across my mind right now is a video on what automation software do you think is better and then unfortunately i do have to do this weird thing where I put a hashtag earlier, so I can put a hashtag app, Zapier, or make. And then I'll put a little hashtag YouTube to signify that it's a YouTube idea. And then I can tweet this. And then once this tweet goes out, what happens is every couple hours I have a tweet automation run. So essentially what just happened is I said that I wanted a YouTube video to be categorized as a video idea within here. And you'll see right here, what automation app do you think is better? Zapier or make. And since I hashtagged it in a certain way, it assigned it to my content branch, my content calendar, and made it a content idea that was for app or software. Now I can easily go in here and add it to YouTube. If I had put the hashtag earlier, this would have worked properly. But now this is a YouTube video idea that fully connects right here. And that's a quick way to utilize something like a tweet or a task capture that allows me to not have to actually go into the app, but just do the function so that I don't get distracted by going on Twitter. Or in the case of Todoist, it's a voice one since I can call out for Siri to do a task capture while I have my headphones in, and then it can quickly go into Todoist and I don't even have to worry about typing it out. This comes very much in use when I'm not by my phone, when I'm trying to be productive, but listening to music through my phone. Another great example here is used through this audio journal one, which as you'll see in the back end is decently short, but actually very important if you take some other aspects into it. So in the shortcuts app, this audio journal just shows record audio and then share it. But if you have another automation set up through make.com like I do, what I can do is so I can press audio journal. And this is an example recording I'm doing it for my YouTube video right now. I have another automation on make.com. So if I go into my actions page, see right here that this journal today should have an audio journal entry. And then if I press this link that it connects to, I'll quickly be able to see that it connected to the audio recording. So these are just a couple ways that shortcuts can increase your quick capture. But what if you wanna go through a sequence that allows you to wake up in the morning easier or wind down? The one that I really like using is called bedtime for me. And just so that you could see a step-by-step -step one on this, this bedtime automation turns on Do Not Disturb, then plays a playlist that I have called Sleep, which if you take a look at it, it's got a couple different sleeping soundtracks, and then one of the Hogwarts soundtracks I have. And then it opens a clock, waits a couple seconds, changes the brightness, and then sets the playback destination to my AirPods Pro and then turns on noise cancellation. So if I press this sequence really quick, you'll see that, okay, I can quickly set some alarms for 4.30 before the time changes to eight seconds and the brightness goes down. And then from there, it'll set it to noise cancellation on my AirPods. And then I can set the brightness back up. 
since this is an example video. As you can see, the Hogwarts music is playing. God, I love this soundtrack. Now, there are other ones that I use that are really nice and quick, like go here and message my editor. I can press this button to commute, or this wake up one is awesome. And I even have this button down on the left here, which if I press it, will randomize what podcast I'm listening to. It's all about finding things that help you improve your productivity, which is all what this channel is about. If you found this helpful, make sure to leave it a like, destroy the like button, send it to the woodshed, and also check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.